Doctor, how do you tackle uh, male infertility by surgical sperm uh, retrieval? Uh, well, there are several causes for male infertility like what I mentioned before and uh, one of the conditions is when the male people are not able to produce any sperms at all in their semen sample. So this could usually be due to an obstruction in their reproductive tract. It's known as obstructive azospermia. So this obstruction can be either due to some kind of surgery, it could be due to an infection, it can due to be due to an injury or it can even be congenital absence of that uh, vast difference. There's a pipe connecting, uh, you know, the male organ to the external environment. So there may be an obstruction in this due to several reasons. So because of this obstruction, the sperm is unable to reach the semen sample and the semen sample does not show these sperms and they suffer from infertility. So it is up to us to retrieve these sperms from the testis. So testis is the organ that produces the sperms and they are stored in what is known as the epididymis and then come out through the vas difference. So when this vas difference is blocked, we have to remove it surgically from either the testis or the epididymis. So there are several methods of doing this. So there are, I mean, they're not exactly surgical methods as in you will not need a cutting in each of these methods. Uh, some of the simpler methods include what is known as PISA, that is percutaneous epididymal sperm aspiration, where a simple needle with a syringe is inserted into the testis through the skin. And we try to aspirate, we exert suction and aspirate whatever sample comes from it. So that liquidish sample which is present in the storage thing called epididymis may contain sperms. So if that fails then we do TISA that is we try the same procedure on the testis. We put a needle with a syringe into the testis and try to aspirate and see if there are any sperms that are available in the testis. Now if that fails then we do what is known as TSA that is testicular sperm extraction. So we make a small cut on the skin and we enter the testis. We take some amount of tissue from the testis and we examine it for presence of sperms. Sometimes this is done through what is known as MISA that is micro, -epid micro surgical epididymal sperm aspiration that is the whole thing is done with the help of a microscope. So it kind of magnifies the entire uh, procedure and helps us uh, you know uh, make the, do the procedure in a more accurate manner. So all these are surgical sperm retrieval methods. So these are very useful in extracting the sperm artificially and then this sperm can be either uh, processed and stored for future use or we could use it immediately to inseminate the eggs of the woman if it is available already. And then apart from people who have a proper organic problem like what I said, sometimes people are just not able to perform sexually. So they're just not able to ejaculate and give a sperm sample. So they may have ejaculatory issues. So in, even in these kind of people, we can artificially retrieve these sperms through these various methods and use that to fertilize the egg and thereby result in a pregnancy. So they're very lucky that we have these methods now. In earlier days, uh, if they were not able to produce sperms, all we could do was to use donor semen samples. So however, with the advent of these techniques, uh, they have hope in you know using their own sperm to produce their own offspring.